my great pleasure to introduce Sarah Thomas. The title of her presentation, The Power is Yours. Choose wisely, and I, don't you love the six word bio idea? Fantastic, by the way. Her six word bio, The Power is Yours, Choose Wisely. Please welcome Sarah Thomas. <laughs> here today so I just wanted to first start out by thanking the organizers and thanking Twitter headquarters uh, for for hosting the conference so um, my name is Sarah Thomas I'm a regional technology coordinator in Prince George's County Public Schools so this goes out to all the 90s kids in the room are there any 90s kids among us all right <laughs> my favorite cartoon growing up was Captain Planet and does anyone remember his tagline he always used to say at the end of the episode the power is yours. Now, that is so true when we think about social media and we think about today's world. So looking at social media, it is definitely all around us. We are living in the age of social media. It's about as, as prolific as the air that we breathe right now. Um, thanks to the leaders in my district, I personally got professionally co connected back in 2013 and now I am fortunate enough to have been part of the team. Um, one takeaway that I wanted to share with you all was the need for us all to be proactive in showing students how powerful a tool social media can be. So I know earlier today David was saying about how social media can be a knife. You can use it for positive or you can use it for negative. So we definitely have to be proactive in teaching our students how to use social media proactively. So when we look at the puzzle, we're all pieces to this puzzle of making the world either a better place or not. So we all play a part. Students play a part, teachers play a part, community members play a part, and last but definitely not least, parents play a part. But why would social media be so important? Well, I did some research, and it was very hard to find the number of exact Twitter users who were in education. However, I did find a statistic back from 2014 from Katrina Stevens in EdSurge where she said, that 4.2 million tweets per day were related to education. So by the time we finished reading that, over 3,000 educational related tweets have flown across the Twitterverse. Now it's probably even more because we are over two years later. So the truth is that there are power in numbers. The lowest estimate that I've heard of educators using Twitter has been about 600,000. Highest estimate about mm, six million. So <laughs> I think that the truth falls somewhere within that. But if we were to even lowball it and say 500,000 educators on Twitter, let's say that we had an idea, we had a movement, and we wanted to empower that. So we wanted to connect with people. So if we could get even 1% of that number on board, that would still be 5,000 people. Now 1%, that might be a little bit of a lofty goal. So let's slice that even further down. One tenth of that, 1,000 of people would be 500 people. With 500 people, then we can move mountains. So what I wanted to do right now is to just show you a couple of examples of people who have been using social media in order to change their world. This summer, I was deeply inspired by Carol Todd. Um, I met her at ISTE, and she was able to turn personal tragedy into this empowering movement. Uh, if you go to A Todd Legacy, on Twitter, then you're able to see their message of sharing kindness and spreading positivity, as well as empathy, okay? Last week, I was fortunate to go to the University of North Carolina and a Worldview Symposium. And here I met this awesome team. You can connect with them at UNC Worldview. And their mission is to bridge the gap between higher ed and K-12 and to connect educators globally. So you have all kinds of great collaborations. I sat in in a session where someone Skyped in a makerspace that was taking place. There was a collaboration between students in Austin, Texas, and in Brazil. So just powerful, powerful things. I was first introduced to this young man, Joshua uh, Williams, who is from Miami. He's now 14 years of age. I met him virtually last summer um, through the EduMatch Passion Pitch project going on with the 30 Goals Conference. Now this young man, his story is amazing. At the age of four and a half, he received $20 from his, uh, from his grandmother, and she said, spend it however you like. So in 10 years, he has used his power of connections 
to raise 1.2 million pounds of food for the homeless. This is a young man right here that we all would want to, uh, would want to see our students like. Am I, am I right? Yeah. Absolutely. Now these three young folks, I connected with them mm -hmm. at, <laughs> at DigSit Summit UK. You've already heard the awesome current hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to be hearing from Sophie and from Timmy. Where's Timmy? Timmy. <laughs> a little later on today. Extremely fantastic young people that we definitely want to see more of our students be like. Here's another one, Brayden. Brayden is at Brayden Art. I connected with this student through a good friend of mine, Rafrance Davis, who is his aunt. Um, this student is the epitome of what we want students to be. He uses his creativity. He made that puppet, by the way. He made that puppet and he's been doing it since, I, I first met him uh, virtually when he was about eight years old. Now I think he's 10 or 11. And he has this incredible gift for making puppets and his talent and creativity, he uses social media to connect and to grow. Um, so I, I know that recently he met up with his idol Stampy. Uh -huh. Stampy from Minecraft. Yeah, <laughs> I see her like Stampy as well. So just amazing. Um, creativity and amazing talent that's just fueled by connections. Uh, one, one example that's very close to my heart is the EduMatch project which started in September 2014. And in this project, and there, there's a few EduMatchers who are in the room right now, but there are over 20,000 educators who have connected via social media on six different continents and just using social media to connect and to grow together and the collaborations have been incredible um, from people just stepping out there and just connecting. So this is collaboration at its finest. And one more example I wanted to share with you is my good friend Don Wetrick. He's the author of a book called Pure Genius and talks about genius hours. So uh, he and his students truly are pure geniuses. So I definitely want to, wanted to highlight them. So they are connecting and collecting to fuel their genius hour projects. Uh, in an open source learning project, and this is in Noblewood, uh, Indiana. So, as you can see, the power truly is yours, so I definitely want to continue to encourage everyone here to uh, get on, connect, and move mountains together. There are approximately seven billion people in the world, so if you look at a map, we each look like a little tiny dot, but when we start to connect the dots, we start making a beautiful picture. So thank you.